Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Kenshi with my Freedom Seekers Skeletons Only playthrough. So uh, in the last episode we picked up a new recruit down here in Morn um, and we set up a new tanning operation there. We did have a tanning operation in Flats Lagoon where we had oils working there but uh, we've moved him down here. Um, because there is plenty, plenty of local wildlife there. And uh, so in the meantime, um, in between episodes, we had a visit from the dust bandits at home in the Grey Desert. They didn't fare too well. Uh, I sent Burn on a bit of a trip. From uh, from Morn down to Katoon, where he got chased by the wildlife, and uh, he did make it there. He was on a bit of a scout mission, looking for potential recruits, but there were no skeleton recruits to be found there. But uh, there was still plenty of wildlife to fight in Morn. But uh, Burn kept running from Katoon. Dropped in quickly at the slave markets. No skeletons for sale there. So he continued. Uh, continued on to Clown Steady. Arriving there in the evening. And uh, the next day, there was more wildlife at morn. Pretty much non-stop. Back at home, we had slavers. We had sand ninjas and we had blood reavers. All at the same time. It was a bloodbath. So they fought each other. And uh, our guys just slept through the whole thing and uh, picked up all the loot afterwards and sold it for cats. Morn continued its journey from Clown Steady, stopping off briefly in a quick, quick little stop off in a way station before continuing down to Drifter's Last, where he did find a lone single skeleton drifter named Faroon. But uh, we weren't able to interact with Faroon, so we weren't able to recruit that one. So then, uh, as suggested in the comments below in a previous episode, uh, we headed up to the swamp, or rather Burn headed up to the swamp, to, uh, to Shark, and uh, came to the Dancing Skeleton, and... Then we have, so, so there's Morn, so he's travelled down to uh, Toon, across to the slave markets, uh, we went past the manhunters, down to Clown Steady, dropped in at this way station, down to Drifter's Last, and then all the way up to Shark, and then I've sent Old Rust, up to the hub, which is where where he is now, and uh, we have the usuals here. So we have uh, we have Molly, and we have Logan there. So let's check in on Burn. It's outside the dancing skeleton. Let's send him inside. And see if we have any recruits here. Let's just uh, speed it up because there's a bunch of guys outside that haven't come in yet. Here they all come. So let's just uh, check and see if any of these guys are skeletons. doesn't appear that any of them are so all right there is another pub and uh is that guy's hiking all right so there is another pub around here 
and we do have people on the ground so let's just uh have a quick look right well that would be why there's not too many people in the bar but let's just have a look in this pub here Now uh, we do have we do have a bar thug missing a leg. Oh, uh, we've got a skeleton here. Finn. All right, so we are going to talk to Finn. Six thousand. Okay, going to leave your name default. All right, so we got ourselves a new recruit. Uh, let's see. All right, so it does come with a repair kit. All right, so I think Ben can stay here. Burn. Burn can go back over here. And we'll just speed it up a bit here. All right, we are going to put you on hold. Same with Finn. All right. So in Morn, uh, we have Bean Hop. Bean Hop is going to scope out this bar. All right. So I have had skeletons in here. This is probably the. This is probably the best place the place I've gotten the most skeletons ever out of thousands of, of hours of gameplay uh, this is my luckiest place to get skeletons none there right now um, in fact not a lot of NPCs around at all who's this tech hunter missing a leg Uh, do, it is a bit of a dangerous place though anyway uh, that's okay nobody there um, what I will do is swap these guys around I'll rust at the end alright um, what's going on in here Okay, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to save our game and we're going to do a new save. I'm going to call it R for Recruit R1. I'm going to save it and I'm going to exit out of the game and reboot it. And so basically what I'm going to do is it's kind of an expansion. If you've watched my 30 Logans video and my tips and tricks, uh, it's kind of an expansion on that, you know, except that instead of just doing uh, one pub, we've got a scout in three different pubs. Um, the three that I've had the most luck in actually finding skeleton recruits. So I'm going to exit out and I'm going to reboot up the game. So I'll see you in just a moment when it reboots. Okay, so what we're going to do, instead of loading our save, we're going to go to import. We're going to take our save file I'm going to untick that I've had the most luck doing this with that unticked we're going to import import that save and it will replace Molly and it will shuffle around some of the other uh some of the other drifters though we did seem to be a bit short on drifters so uh, we'll see how we go all right so we would old rust right now let's just speed it up and wait for everyone to come in so there's logan 
And who do we have here? All right, so we've got Fu. All right, let's uh, check in on Burn. To, to load in properly. All right. Wait for people to come in. Okay, so I don't see any skeletons here. Thin. In the other pub in the swamp. Do not see any skeletons there either. You know, there could be some outside, but uh, it's a pretty big place, so I'm not going to go searching out there. All right, let's uh, check in on Bean Hop. All right, so yeah, some of these guys are tech hunters. Some will be drifters. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to put Bean Hop on Snake. And let's just have a look at his stats. So he has level 1 assassination. Doesn't really matter. We're going to go stealth KO and pause. Once you get the little question mark, you know they're falling, we're going to pick them up. And we're going to bring them inside. We are going to lock our door. Put them down on the ground. Loot. Um, take that take anything that gives them protection meds so they can't heal up uh, let's shove that in there oh, I don't need my bow for the moment okay so She just, where did she go? It's upstairs, okay. All right, well, let's uh, go up there and stealth KR again. Get behind her, try that again. Pick her up. I want to do this down here. Away from prying eyes. So the stealth KO. We're not really going to cop any. Uh, you know any major. Uh, repercussions from that. But. Uh, attacking. Is another story altogether. Uh, i got to take you off. Old and ranged. Okay, you want to play dead? Let's pick you up, put you back down again. Attack. I'm just going to run upstairs, okay. Alright. Can do just as much damage to you up here. Alright. So I don't think you're going to survive that. Let's just pick her up. Put her down here. I lost KO. Alright, so she should die. Let's go back over to Old Rust. 
and we're gonna do all right i'm gonna do a similar thing over here but i'm gonna want uh i want some building materials one two three i think is enough what are we i uh, will take that We'll learn that. All right, I'm going to buy this building. I'm going to fix it up. Pretty sure it only takes three building materials. Well, it takes five, but there was two already. Okay. Come in here. On to sneak. This drifter here. Stealth KO. Let these guys beat her up. They're going to dump her outside. We are going to pick her up. Bring her inside here. We're going to lock our door. Put her down. We will make sure she can't heal herself. Let's set that to private. She's playing dead. Okay. Put her up. Put it down. Let's uh, go sneak. Take ranged off, take passive off. Playing dead again. Okay. Want to keep playing dead? All right. Looks like she's getting up. Okay. Attack. And I don't know how she got through a locked door, but uh, let's pick her up and go back inside. Lock that. Okay, she is dying. That's fine. Put her down. Uh, let's check back in with Bean Hop. This one here is also dying. Okay, so uh, so with humans, once any one of these reaches a hundred, they should die. So this one is almost dead, which is what we want. Dead. Okay. Old Rust. Uh, you also got a little way to go before she's dead. Uh, this blackout during loading is a bit crap. All right. So what you can do to fix that is go up a floor and back down again. If you get that sort of black blackness in the floor. So once this 72 gets down to 100, uh, she'll be dead. So I'm just going to gonna pause and I'll come back when that happens. All right. So she's just about to die. She's dead. All right. All right. Okay. So let's open up this door. So I think essentially what uh, I think happens, I mean, I, I don't know exactly about how the programming and everything, all of that works, but uh, okay, I've spent 
hours and hours and hours testing this uh, this method. And what I think happens is the various places that you've been to have a bunch of drifters and they're all kind of in a pool and they get shuffled around um, each time you each time you do the import. Um, and then if you kill a couple off, then they'll get replaced with new ones. So we are going to do our save again. So we're going to go R2. It's our second, second attempt. And I'm going to exit out, and I'm going to import that R2 save. Okay, so just going to, going to untick that, import, and we should get more drifters. So usually, uh, usually get a few more drifters than, than what we have. But uh, see how we go. And sometimes you might get a skeleton on the first go. Other times it could take you like 10 or 12 goes. So let's just uh, speed this up now. So Logan is a constant. Do we have a, another drifter coming in? I don't see one there at the moment. But, uh, sometimes it can take them a little while to come in and whenever these mercenaries are here it does seem to be a bit more unlikely that there'll be one doesn't mean there won't be but uh, let's go to burn then so have a look in here and we'll get this black out until it finishes loading properly and if it's still black, all right, up a floor, down a floor. Check for skeletons here. Do not see one. Got a fin in the other bar. Do not see one here. It's a bean hop. Uh, bean hop needs to come into the bar. And don't see one here either. Uh, that is Tech Hunter. Alright, so what I'll do. I'll just try importing again. So just going to import the exact same save file. But if, if it gives us the same drifters, then uh, we'll try killing a couple off again. So see how we go. Sometimes you get lucky and like I've had two or three skeletons in a row and then other times. Um, so in my Logan's video, I think I'd hired about uh, 20 odd Logans before I got a skeleton in the hub. But uh, it did eventually get one. But we'll see how we go here. So let's speed this up. We've got our Logan. Do we have any drifter here? Not seeing one. Let's go to burn. Let's just see if this shuffled up a little bit. Up floor, down floor, fix the black spot. Do we see a skeleton in here? Don't see one. It's a fin. They do have action outside though. Uh, 
who is this? Red Savers. Okay. All right. But I do not see. Wait a minute. No. Do not see a skeleton here. Okay, back over. Back over in here. Do we have any drifter at all? Polly. All right. Let's uh, check if any have come in over in the hub. Does not look like it. Uh, all right. We will try again. So we're going to sneak. We are going to stealth KO and pause when you see the thunk. Try again. Okay, when you see a sight and a dip, now yeah, we can pick her up. Now, if you don't pick her up, then uh, these guards will pick her up, they'll drop her out here, she'll get straight up and she'll walk straight back inside. So we're going to bring her in. We are going to lock the door. We are going to put her down and loot her. Take a weapon off her. Wait for her to regain consciousness. Attack. Playing dead. Alright. They're playing dead. Try to loot them. That would usually wake them up, but in this case... Oh, yep, she's woken. Okay. Good. Mm, don't know why they want to try and escape upstairs. But, uh, let's pick her up. Bring her back downstairs. Uh, I think she is probably going to die. Yep, she's dying. Uh, so what do we have in here? We don't have any drifters in here. Doesn't mean there's not one walking around. Out here. Not these guys though. Up a floor, down a floor. Alright. Let's uh, wait for this one to, to die. And we'll save. And we'll, uh, we'll import again. Let's see how we go. So... 77, once that hits 100, so I'll be back to you in just a moment. Alright, so she dead. So, save. And I always I find this works better if you do do a fresh save file each time. So I'm going to exit out of there. Rinse and repeat. So, import the the new file and this seem to be a bit short on drifters so and maybe I will tick the import NPCs but in uh, previous testing I had better luck I seem to have had better luck with not having that ticked but uh, see how we go so all right let's uh, unlock this Hop. So it is unlocked. Let's hop in here. 
And there is nobody in here at the moment. Let's go over to Old Russ. We have people wandering in. Okay, we do have a new drifter there. All right. Not the one we were after. So let's check in on Burn then. And they don't necessarily spawn in the place where you killed off a drifter. But I see no skeletons here. So, I mean, skeletons do have the lowest uh, probability of spawning. Uh, the, I know the game is designed like that on purpose because skeletons can be very overpowered. Do not see one in here. Let's just check back here. Make sure to check the corners on these these mats. But do not see one. Back to bean hop. All right. That is a tech hunter. Tech hunter. Vagrants. All right. I'm going to exit out and I'm going to try importing with the other tick. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so this time we are going to leave that one ticked and see if that changes things up a bit. So uh, there is so much randomness in Kenshi. Doesn't matter how many times you test something, you never get the exact same results. But uh, we should be able to get a bunch of skeletons. So I've had uh, had up to about twenty or thirty before. We're not quite. I haven't quite gotten thirty. Alright, so let's hop in here. Let's speed this up. Get in there. Burn. Let's check on you. Let's see what we've got in here. Still got people coming in. No skeletons in. Let's have a look. Yeah, this guy. We'll talk to this guy. Didn't mean to trespass. I understand. Do a sexy dance. Stay out of your way. Alright. Uh, let's see. Okay. Don't see skeleton in here. Yeah, I've never, people say that uh, you can find them in Katoon. I've never found one in Katoon. Uh, I've had a couple in Clown Steady before, but I've never been able to interact with the ones in Clown Steady, uh, nor the ones at Bifters Last. So we've got none here. Okay. Of Old Rust. All right, well, we do at least have a drifter. So, pick that one up, take him inside, lock our door. Put them down. Take off any gear that's going to help him in a fight. All right, 
quickly back to bean hop to see if anyone's coming here. Yeah, we do have, who's this? The tech Hunters. I usually have at least two drifters in here. And at the moment, we've got none. So, does depend on luck of the draw. This one, let me see, 0.12, yeah, this one will be dying. So, wait till this one dies, then I'll, uh, I'll save the game and I'll reload it, or re, uh, we will re, re-import it. So, I'll be back in a moment. So, waited for that one to die, saved R4. And now we're going to import this one with that unticked and see how we go. And this, it's definitely not a really quick way of getting skeletons, but uh, on vanilla Kenshi, it, uh, it is a way to get some. It will take time and patience. And uh, you probably need to reload several times. But uh, wait and see who comes in here. And we do have Polly. So let's check over here. And that good old blackout. Okay, check in here, don't see any, check in with Finn, don't see any skeletons here, I mean you could look outside, there might be some, might be some walking around, but, uh, check in on Bean Hop, see if, uh, here we go. There we go. This is horse. All right. So we're going to talk to horse. 6K for horse. Confirm. All right. You can go a medic. Let's see what you've got. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do now. Okay. So horse can come in here. On hold. And bean hop, what you're going to do is this, is it this one, yep. So blue eyes here, this drifter, is not one that we can hire, but there's a 10k bounty. And you could have done this, like, each time that we've killed somebody and made a ton of cash. But uh, just to sort of save time, I've not been doing that. But we are going to stealth KO this one, and we're going to... Make sure that we do pause on this one because we want to pick them up. We don't want the guard to pick them up. Okay, so pick them up. So as long as we pick them up, we we'll bring them out here, over here, and we pop them in one of these cages. We will collect this 10k bounty. Uh, let's speed it up a bit. There we go. Receive 10k reward. We are going to loot them. I'm going to take all this stuff. And has, like, it's not the best gear, but it's specialist gear. Um, so we are going to give horse horse can have that and these maybe the bigger katana 
we'll sell the rest. I uh, can have a med kit as well, I guess. So we do. I do keep med kits. Um, just so that I can heal up any guards and stuff. But uh, we're going to come in and we're going to sell the loot. So that's worth a bit. Sell this. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. And like that's the big med, med kits. I'll keep that. Uh, let's just check. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, let's land that. Uh, let's go to squads. Um, okay. What I'll do... I'll take horse. Pop him in that one. And... Bodyguarding sad Neil. Okay, let's go back to our scouts. Let's go to Old Rust. Let's see what's in here. Alright. We have that's the bar thug. Alright, Polly over here. We will take care of Polly. Pick her up. Bring her inside. Do this in privacy. Put her down, make sure we uh, take a weapon off her, wait for her to wake up. Kill her, playing dead. Alright, yeah, I don't think she's going to survive that. Yeah, okay, point is 13, so she is definitely not surviving that. Uh, let's just check in, see if anyone's wandered in here. A uh, good thing to note as well, in here we do have a skeleton repair bed if you need it. And I believe it is pretty cheap. But we don't see any skeletons here at the moment. Let's check over in the other bar with Finn. There is a bit of uh, riffraff going on over here though. Who are they fighting? the hounds okay all right let's uh uh do we want to risk that Don't really want to risk that. Don't want to risk having 
being aggroed while I'm trying to recruit. That's, that's not good. Let's check over here with Bean Hop again. Uh, that's a tech hunter. Old Rust, your friend is still dying. So we can come over here. All right, so I'll do the same thing again. I'll wait till till she's dead. Uh, then I will save. So that'll be uh, that'll be R five, I think, and then I'll re-import that R five. Uh, wait, is this another? Who's this? Nope, it's not a drifter. Um, let's check out friend here. Yep, she's well and truly dead. All right, so save R5. Exit out of the game, reboot it, re-import R5. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, so let's see how we go. So as I said, this can take a lot of time. Uh, vanilla Kenshi doesn't really give you a lot of options when it comes to uh, finding skeleton drifters. So let's just see. So there's Logan comes in. And look who we have wandering in the bar. Okay. So we can talk to this one. It's only 3,000. We will take it. Alrighty. So there's two. Um, yeah, this one. I mean, shit stats, but we tr we'll uh, train them up. The 3,000, the ones that cost 3,000 usually won't come with a repair kit. Um, can have that, I guess. I guess you can uh, have that. Uh, maybe you can have that as well. All right. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Have a repair kit. We don't. Worry. Okay, so you can actually come and live in here. We are going to put you on medic. But we're also going to put you on hold. So get you sped up. Okay, we are going to. The recruits and pop you in there. All right. So let's see. All right. So back to burn. Have a look. See if there are any skeletons. Yeah. I'll go once or twice, I'll get another skeleton uh, here in Shark. But typically most of the skeletons I find, I'm usually going to find them in Morn. Not seeing any there. Not seeing any here. But we uh, do have one, two drifters. So, and see, this guy is back again with his 10k. 
I mean, you could just continuously knock this guy out, collect the thing, re-import it, take his gear, re-import it, knock him out, collect your 10k, sell all his gear. You could do that over and over again. Really easy cash. Uh, who's this one? That's Tech Hunter. All right. So, uh, anyway, I mean, that has, as I said, like, uh, it's, it's not fast. Um, sometimes it's faster. Sometimes you get them, get a few in a row. It really does depend on roll of the dice. Um, you can just try, keep re-importing the same file over and over again, uh, until you do get one. But every now and then, depending on, uh, depending on sort of what, uh, what's been allocated to your specific game, um, it doesn't. It doesn't always work, um, and you you will end up having to uh, to kill off a few a few other drifters to uh, to get the ball rolling. But uh, I'm probably going to continue doing this sort of recruitment off camera. You've seen how it's done, um, and uh, that is going to do it for this episode. So if you did enjoy this episode, then please leave me a like or a comment down below. Let me know if you had any luck uh, using this method. But uh, if you want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.